Hey, welcome back. So thanks to the trailer for the new Barbie movie starring Margot Robbie, which looks absolutely, totally whacked and I am 100% down for it or with it or something. I'm looking forward to this movie so much. I decided that I needed my own Lego version of the Barbie dream house, Lego style. And I wondered whether it could be done. Of course it can be done. You can build anything out of Lego. So you are on part two of this build. We've done the first floor. So check out the first part. I'll put a little thingy up in the corner and a link down in the description box so you can go to that if you missed seeing it but it turned out quite structurally well uh this is going to be the sliding like the top sliding component for this sliding back door thing but at the moment it's all just floating in the breeze so i'm going to tuck that in there for now until we put the ceiling on which is the floor on the next level but because this is barbie we need obviously we need an outfit change because she has a bazillionty gazillionty outfit so let's let's give her another pink outfit so we got some nice pink this is gonna be like a pink pantsuit with a gold undershirt gold matching shoes very nice now we just have to rip her head off which is not something you want to do with a proper barbie because they never go back on like never they are always wobbly and weird so we've got a new outfit but i actually want to use the other outfits to make so let's make some other outfits so we've got the one she was wearing before then we need some formal wear so a ball gown kind of thing pink of course so we've got nice pink formal gown and ah uh, for bur bur mermaid mermaid barbie we're gonna have a pink mermaid barbie this is perfection perfection in pink mermaid barbie i'm pretty sure that's the name of a real mermaid barbie at some stage and we definitely need some swimwear though i'm pretty sure the mermaid outfit would count as swimwear right so but i don't know so we've got Four outfits now. I want to build a moving clothes rack or a clothes rail that we can actually hang these outfits on so that they can be interchangeable. We'll put them in the bedroom or in the closet, like the walk-in closety part of the bedroom. So clothes rails going on, we need this on the bottom. It's just gonna be like this. I'm not gonna bother with another side to it. And when it's actually attached to the base plate, to the you know, to the floor it'll be very solid so let's put the mermaid outfit on first we need a stud with a hole in it and a clip and the hole in the stud so it can go through the neck and there we go look on a hanger and on to the clothes rack first outfit choice ready and displayed we just need to angle it a bit so that i can fit these all on here i don't know that i'm gonna fit four outfits on here we'll just do one at a time and see and it's not gonna stand up yet till we secure it later okay next hanger get that ball gown on here and let's just let's get a hanger on the other dress too or the other outfit might leave the swimwear off for now we'll see if i can fit these three on here so fancy dress in the middle and yeah i'm going to have to definitely angle these carefully to try and get them on <laughs> it's gonna be a bit squishy let's see so of course i angled that the wrong way because hashtag directionally challenged so let's see yeah see they fit but i'm gonna have to just spread them out a little bit there's no way i'm gonna get four outfits on this rack but there we go look at this we got three alternate outfits for barbie to put in her bedroom <laughs> okay okay so we've made a start now we better actually get working on the actual room and we'll put the swimwear away for later because we will use it maybe she could hold this and it will actually stand no wrong i was wrong Oh, come on Barbie keep your hair on though we can change your hairstyle too which we will also yeah we'll also have a display of that too so this is our reference material this is the current Barbie dream house we're working on the middle floor today ignore the lift because I'm not even going to think about that at the moment so we're just going to have a middle floor which has got the bedroom and the bathroom purple yeah purple flooring so this is gonna fit here and that can go here and then we've got a little space at the back which I'm pretty sure I've got the right yeah right size plate for that okay let's build with it down here and then we'll install it later on and hope that everything fits <laughs> so that should go like that that's our working yeah a working area we'll work on this first so along the front here we've got a little pink fencing area a see-through pink so I don't have a really pale see-through pink but I'm gonna make a nice modern -y, fancy partition thing on the front so put these down here very nice put this across here and then if we put a smooth yeah, tile across the top now we got a nice bit of fencing now behind that we've got a yellow swing chair I just don't know that I will be able to do that I have thought and thought and thought about ways to build this out of Lego and I just can't do it so if I had two pillars I could maybe put a swing between it but I just I just can't figure it out so what I'm gonna do instead until I have some sort of brilliant plan is just make a little 
bright yellow chair for out here on the balcony or out on the deck and then I'll interchange it if I get any brilliant ideas but they haven't come to me yet and trust me I've tried a few different designs they're just too bulky even or, yeah I just can't win so I'm trying to figure out yeah this will, this should be out of the way here and of course of course she's gonna need some sort of cocktail out here ready to drink on the deck because she's a full-grown woman she can have a fancy beverage if she wants so all right I'm going to have another panel in front of that chair but I'm gonna leave it out for now because I want access behind so dressing table for the bed for the bedroom two pink drawers perfect let's fill these with pink hair accessories so we have got a pink bow a pink pair of sunglasses a different pink bow and a pink heart. So ta-da, look at this. We have accessorized to the max or as much as we can actually fit into those drawers. A nice pink mirror and a makeup palette, which I actually had a Barbie that came with a, with makeup. <laughs> it was terrible, <laughs> it was terrible. That was a lot of years ago though. And of course we need a brush and a bright red lipstick. Perfection, let's put this over here. And then, actually we could use that yellow chair for sitting at the dressing table. It's bedtime, it's time to make a bed. So I've got these lovely stickered pieces that I made for a previous bed, it's gonna work perfectly for this. So nice big comfy bed. By the way, in the actual Barbie dream house, there are bunk beds and a trundle bed for underneath the bottom bunk bed and she's a full grown woman with an infinitely, like a seemingly infinite amount of wealth. Why is she living, <laughs> living with 16 billion to other people? So I'm making her her own room because she deserves it. Holy moly. So nice big comfortable bed for her. Just one, just one Barbie. She's, yeah, she's earned it. Okay, all right. So we've got mm, yeah, pink bedding, white bed sheets, and some really, really nice pink cushions happening here with these stickered pieces, which are lovely. And then we just need to put some feet on. So I'm going to use these flower pieces for feet because they just make it a little bit extra pretty. And it gives them a little bit of articulation, not articulation, uh, definition. No, I don't know what word I'm looking for, but it just makes them less smooth and a little bit, yeah, a little bit more interesting to look at. So look, there we go. Look, one Barbie. This is your bad Barbie. That's it. You don't have to share it with anybody else. <laughs> you don't. Nobody, there's not 16 Barbies shoved onto that bed with you. It's just for you. Okay. I'm also going to give it a, we're well, going to make it a fancy bed. So it's going to have one of those curtainy things around the edges. So this is going to not attach to anything at the top, but it is going to add a little bit of support to the next level because next level can lean on it, but not attach to it. So there's going to be a pillar for one side, which is actually curtains. So purple curtains going down. I've dropped that connector. Here we go. It's come back from my floor where it's covered in spider webs and dead ants. Okay. So these go up here. See, extra special now, not like bunk beds in a trundle bed and having to share your beds with 16 other people who probably snore and put their feet in your face. All right, working all <laughs> along the edge now, going to just make a bit of a wall section here with some nice transparent pink pieces. And then around the corner, a whole heap of wardrobes and accessory stuff. So we're going to need somewhere to store her shoes. So we've got a little selection of shoes here got uh and some and some roller skates if these were rollerblades it would be even more perfect <laughs> but you know you'll just have to imagine their rollerblades and a bit of a skirt fabricy kind of thing actually that looks like the crystal crystal barbie which was just my favorite barbie when i was growing up i think it was the only fancy barbie that i owned all the rest belonged to my friend she had the best barbies so this is going to be a see-through wardrobe thing with this opening door. Now, <laughs> I made this design before. It was actually from Livy's Popstar House and I've used it oodles of time. Yeah, oodles of times, but I can never remember how to put it together so that it actually functions with the hinges because I am hingely challenged. But I think I've got it right. We'll just find out as long as I don't attach it poorly to the base plate, to the plate flooring, it will be okay. So, we can now put into this, I'll just lean it back a bit, it's crystal shoes, the uh, rollerblades, more shoes and the crystal Barbie. Oh, I might move this over so that I can see, see the blue shoes, the blue shoe box through the wall. Otherwise it's just obscured by the crystal Barbie cape. Ha! There we go. Lovely. Now, if I put this here, there's not going to be a lot of room to actually open the door. So I'm going to use it here to connect these two join points so there we go I have connected it correctly now and everything falls out when you open this up but it's still such a good design now between those let's put a whole heap of drawers 
So like more storage, lots and lots of accessory storage. So we're going to make this three cupboards high and on the bottom shelf or the bottom compartment here, we're going to have two sets of drawers and then we'll have some open drawers in the top two sections. We're going to put some material. We'll fold up some of these cape pieces and just gently fold them because I don't want to crease them. And then that just gives the semblance of them being filled with clothes and like fancy clothes. Let's see if I can fit this in without without it falling out everywhere and it'll just make it look nice and full. They just ignore the fact that there's nothing in those bottom drawers because I can't find any more accessories that fit in drawers. I've used up all the pink bows. I could probably fill it with different lipsticks. That would be fun. So I might do that later. Okay, let's get this up to the same height as the rest of as the rest of everything because it's going to be the support for the next level too. That's looking really good now. Now I want to put this movable clothes rack in here. So the little round bit, the little round tire with a jumper stud will be seated down and then you can just pull the clothes rack off when you want to grab one of those outfits and then pop it back. So that's all stored nicely away, but you can still take it out of the way if you want to access anything behind it. Okay. Obviously we're going to need a mirror because we need a mirror for the change room and to check out the outfits. So important. So if we put on this brick, that'll be at a good height, I think, for viewing and then get it also up to the height of the other walls. Look at that. Perfect. It's even got a little bit of mirroriness, which is nice. One of the older style Lego stickers. Next to there, going to have a display for some different hairstyles, some different hair choices in blonde, of course, because we're going with stereotype Barbie at the moment. So here are two longer styles, which will look just as nice and just as Barbie-esque. So I need to make a display, which is going to leave them accessible, but also on display. So these ice cream cone pieces, I might have to put this that way. It's kind of going to feel like Moira's from <laughs> Moira's wall of, of her, of her wigs. Yeah, a little bit like that now. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, her girls. All right, so let's get this one up here for the next, next level. And I'm pretty sure that we should be able to secure this one facing forwards, but I'm going to need to build that up by another stud on the little ice cream cone, I think. I mean, I don't want it to be seated down on it because I just want to be able to take it off easily. Maybe I could try. If I try like maybe a different configuration, so if I have this little pin holdery piece and then put the cone upside down, that holds it, oh, actually no, it's a little bit wobbly. I think that's gonna fall off too easily. So yeah, no, that's too wobbly. So let's just go back to the original plan and just build that ice cream cone up by one stud. And that way I can balance that hairstyle on the top on nicely. There we go, nice, see, there we go. And then it's easy and accessible. All right, so this is going over here next to the mirror, a wall of wigs, <laughs> we'll call them Moira, and nice habibis. Oh, I am chuffed by this. This is looking, this area is looking really great. So much better than bunk beds in a trundle. Okay, a lovely, I mean, this is a dream house where you get a bed to yourself in a really big wardrobe full of everything you could possibly desire. <laughs> and a corner with lots of books. So I'd be going with that. But that's not Barbie's dream house. This is my dream house. So I'm going to make a little area, like a little rug in front of the yeah, in front of the mirror because there was just this big empty space and I just couldn't bear it anymore. So now that's been filled nicely with the pretty rug. And now I think we might, I might move that back like one stub this, just to tuck the clothes rack a little bit further into the corner. That's better. Now it's not obscuring our, yeah, our wardrobe as much. There we go. This is, this, I mean, this bedroom section, love it. Let's take this uh, up. Well, let's put it in situ, but before we do that, I need to actually secure the bottom. So where does this go? Oh, I think it goes here. So this is the top of the sliding door. So I need to make sure this goes in the right place. I'm trying to do this, speeding it up so terribly fast so that <laughs> I'm just breaking everything while I'm doing it. Okay, so that should do that. And then this will hold those all those yeah plates together because there's not a lot of support underneath in the middle. So it'll hold that floor together, I think. And I don't think it'll be in a problem when we get it up in situ. So let's try it. Let's get it up here and then attach it, attach it to the bottom floor and see how we've gone. <laughs> so a little bit at a time, we'll just do, oh my gosh, these are so wonky. So yep, see this here, very nice. The sliding door slides, which is just such so good because that could have gone very badly if I had put that sliding bit in the wrong spot. Put that together a bit more. Oh, I hadn't seated it at the front. There we go, that's good. I think we might need just a little bit more security underneath here with another plate. 
There we go. That looks really great. And I can even, I can use that area, even though it doesn't have a support underneath because we put like a pillar support because we put extra stuff. So speaking of pillar supports, let's put this one in over here that we're going to need for when we put the next level on. And now I think might be, look at that, sliding door brings me such joy. <laughs> now I think we might work on the bathroom. So let's see, bathroom. So this actually has a door in the actual proper Barbie Mattel version. So let's let's put some stuff on first. So we've got a nice sticky panel here with a whole heap of stuff. Door's gonna go here, but let's see whether I can actually put it in and open it. So that should that should be okay. So that's this is as much space as we've got to work with. So we'll put a toilet in here, and the toilet is white, and then the lid is blue in the proper version, in the non-Lego version, in the Barbie version. So that's good. We've got our own Lego version. Now next to that, a little sink. And this is where I'm going to just start making this up myself and fitting things in as I can because the shower is actually next to the door. So, but because I don't intend to put a lift in this because I'm too lazy, I'm actually going to put a shower over near that entryway. But yeah, first up. So we've got a nice fancy sink. We've got our, 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 what do you call that thing? Tap. And we've got a pink, pink soap, pink soap, which is perfect. Perfect pink soap. Okay, shower's gonna go here. So these pink windows with the blue opalescent-y windowy thing in inserts means that you can't see through that. So that's gonna be perfect for a shower. Then we put the grill down for the actual shower. And this is all gonna be reasonably open because I'm gonna use this as a shower screen, but I'm gonna need to move, yeah, move these grills back one. And then we can put the shower screen in place with these little pieces, which are not, they're actually a lever, like the Lego lever bit, but I've ripped the lever out and just left the grooved bit down the bottom because that groove holds one of these window panels really nicely. So, and it's not 100% secure, but it's 90% secure. So we've got our shower panel. Let's build the shower down here. So I'm not floating up in the air trying to work around the shower panel. So we just need to get the shower up to the same height as the rest of the walls, but we do need our hot and our cold taps. They're gonna be pushy tap bits. Nice trans pink see-through panel here. And then on the top, obviously we need the shower head. Yeah, that's it. And we'll use this bit. Very nice. Yeah, that should be tall enough. So let's go and put that, put that in place and then I'll check that we can actually fit our Barbie underneath it, our mini doll version of Barbie. So we'll take the shower screen out, put this in here and then, yeah, heaps of room, probably too much room, but can you have too much room? No, I think that's good. So put our shower screen back. Now bath mat, nice pink and white striped bath mat. <laughs> And now I don't think we have room in here for anything else. So let's start building up our partition wall. So I have more pink window frames. I've filled them with pink glass because pink is how we're going with this. So pink up to here and then we'll hold them all together here. I mean, this is going to be the sturdiest wall in the place. We'll put the door in here and then we've got, let's get these out of the way because I can't see what I'm doing over here. So we'll put, oh, we better finish up this walling first. Otherwise I'll get excited about other stuff and then I'll forget to do these finishing touches. So yeah, blue glass for the top and then maybe just some tiling and then there'll be see-through up there. But here we're going to make another display for more of Barbie's accessories, her handbag collection, because she always has lots of handbags. So I found a whole heap of pink ones, including a briefcase for when she's business Barbie. Because, I mean, she has all the jobs. So let's get this. We're going to make it the same style, the same color scheme as the other displays that we have. So this one down here and the pink window frames going to match in with the other side of the door. Oh, yeah, no, I need to have that space there to be able to fit the handbag in. Oh, very nice. Okay, so the next one should fit on here quite well. We're going to need a two by one plate to attach this one to rather than a jumper stud because that's how the bottom of it. Oh, broken it. This is what happens when you try to build up in midair. <laughs> it's all a little bit, a little bit insecure. And on the top shelf here, I'm just going to be very careful. Going to put an, a panel piece here, a see-through panel piece, so that we can just slide the briefcase in. Look at that. And then, oh, hold on, that's going to need another little tile on the top to take it to the same height as the rest of the walls. Oh my goodness me. I, we can't fit anything. We cannot physically fit anything else into here. <laughs> this has got so much stuff in it and I'm so happy with it. So let's put these bits back that I took out. So put our, put our pillars in, our chair back, 
drink back here and our supporting pillar on this side. Well, there we go. All right, I this is a lot more detail than the original dream house. <laughs> but we need to put the next level on and that's going to be the job for the next video because we'll, well, I'll show you in the picture when we get to it, but it doesn't actually have very much in it and you know I'm going to want a lot more detail and we're going to we're going to go in depth. We're going to make it fun. So, check back in. We will complete Barbie's dream house in the next installment of this build and I'm excited and there's so much pink and that definitely brings me a lot of joy. All right. Subscribe, do all the things so that you get notified when this when the next video comes up because you don't want to miss it because it'll be finished. It'll be exciting. All right. I'll see you then. Bye.